Here at Leeds Institute for Fluid Dynamics, we run a wide range of ways to interact and engage between industry and fluid dynamics specialists. Fluid Dynamics is a major UK research and innovation strength, and it is critical to many application areas and sectors. It is enabling technology for many industry sectors such as marine, aerospace, oil and gas, as well as societal applications like healthcare, weather, clean energy and air quality. From events to consultancy, knowledge transfer partnerships to project sponsorship. We bring together understanding of fundamental flow regimes, fluid properties and simulation approaches to tackle challenges in multiple industry sectors. I love watching fluids move. It really is a blessing to be an experimentalist in the field of fluid mechanics. I think the best scenarios for engagement that have come from conferences and gatherings happening when the industry was coming in and reporting some of the current issues that they have and they cannot find a solution for. And at the same time, academics, they report some of the findings that they have discovered that might be really interesting, but they do not really know what's the application for their interesting observation. I'm a university academic fellow at the School of Mechanical Engineering, and I'm a mechanical engineer by training with expertise in thermal fluids. Engineering fluids at uh, smaller dimensions that are comparable to a human hair has opened a whole new window of opportunity in the recent decades providing safer and smarter solutions for both characterization of natural and industrial flows and also fabrication of new functional soft materials. Generally, we seek inspiration from solutions that are already available and effective in nature. On one side, we try to understand the physics of how these natural solutions work, and on the other hand, we try to mimic them and translate them into an effective engineering solution. We have these natural surfaces that we know that they have certain functionalities which are really important because of their natural properties, such as the insect wings. These insects are typically dragonflies, damselflies, because they have nanostructures on the surface of their wings, which makes them super hydrophobic, which is really good for certain industries. Upon any contact with water droplets, such as rain or any other natural sources of water, if there is any source sources of contamination already on the surface, they get cleaned and contamination gets washed away. In parallel, we also work on developing new fluid-based techniques to replicate these natural surfaces at lower cost and lower energy consumption for antimicrobial surfaces. So in general, we want to create surfaces that are in the first place, don't get contaminated as much as normal surfaces, but also they can be accessed with easier solutions to clean. Kinds of flows to detach and clean surfaces. So I do lots of research on cleaning, either by adding different kinds of surfactants or detergents, just by using no chemicals and physically changing the fluid to clean surfaces. All the fields of biofouling would be a problem that this can be in food industry, it can be continuous fouling in the pipe or in the processing units. There are also biomedical applications of these kind of uh, surfaces, which are, for example, single-use medical devices that you want to make them antimicrobial, and uh, we are mostly concerned with the bacterial infections. I'm Ahilan, I'm Chief Energy Transition Officer at Aqualis Bremer LLC. One of the things that I think it's uh, crucial is that those who are practicing these pioneering work in uh, offshore wind energy are somehow connected up with the thinking that is going on uh, at universities and academia in order to make sure that we are constantly assessing properly what the limits of our technology are and what the opportunities in the technology are. One of the major sources of the change in the energy sector uh, comes from being able to produce uh, economic scale offshore wind energy. A 20% error in the wind speed can cause 70 to 80% reduction in the energy that we produce. The density of wind energy is not that great and therefore we have to try to capture as much of that wind energy as possible, as accurately as possible, because accuracy in the wind speed is crucial to better define the energy that we can produce from the oceans. You may not know the problem exists, you may have an inkling in your mind that there may be a solution to this. That will be a, an opportunity to discuss with some of the best minds in fluid dynamics to find the solutions. Visit our website for more information and to get in touch.